amount of time on the internet, you'll know that food is king. From tasty to binging with babish, people just love food. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I filmed a high quality food video all by myself. First thing you'll need, of course, is a recipe and all the ingredients for that recipe. I'm not gonna teach you how to cook in this video, so before you even set up your camera, make sure whatever it is you're cooking, you can do it with your eyes closed. Because on top of having to prepare and cook the meal, you're gonna have to worry about capturing it as well. So I'm doing all of this in my kitchen, which is quite small. But as long as you can move your camera around a bit and you have a nice clean surface, you should be fine. In terms of gear, I'm shooting all of this with my Panasonic GH5 and one lens, the 25mm f1.7. But don't worry too much about your lens choice. It's all about framing and lighting with food more than anything else. Speaking of which, for lighting, I'm using the Godox SL60 with this giant softbox on it. Typically, I like to shoot natural light for food because, well, it just feels the most natural. So if you have a big window in your space, try and shoot there. I'm also using this Ninja 5, and not as a recorder, but just as a monitor. So if your camera is a flippy screen, you can probably do without this, but having an external monitor makes this so much easier, especially if you're by yourself. You can check your framing and focus while you cook without having to guess. Let's get into actually composing your frames now. A lot of food videos opt for this single top-down angle, and to be honest, I find this approach quite boring. So my advice is to change up your framing for each sequence as much as possible. It just makes the whole piece way more dynamic and interesting. It definitely takes longer though. Take this egg sequence for example. I could have just cracked an egg and called it a day, but if you want to stand out, you have to go the extra mile. So I set the camera up at a low angle to make this egg crack the hero shot. Here's a few of my favorite go-to angles for food, and I urge you to experiment and find new perspectives as well. Once you're all set up and you figured out your angles, all that's left to do is actually cook and shoot. This is the fun part. So each step of the recipe becomes a sequence. So if you shoot chronologically, editing becomes a lot easier. I actually think this is kind of necessary for food. As you prep and cook, you're essentially editing the video as you go, one step at a time. When you finish each step, make sure you get a nice beauty shot of the final dish. Now it's time to start editing. Find a good track, and for that, I obviously recommend Music Bed. Slow down your clips and add some simple titles. For added production value, sometimes I'll mask out a title with an action, so it feels like the title lives in 3D space. There's a link in the description if you need a tutorial on how to do this. Now for color, I like to keep things pretty simple. Just a clean Rec 709 look is usually best. Food has to look how it looks in real life, so I'd avoid overly stylized grade and stick to what feels the most natural for your ingredients. Without further ado, here is the final food video in all of its entirety. From start to finish shooting this and then to editing it, it probably took me about two or three hours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a little bit of behind the scenes of how I actually edit as well. I just recently switched to this Audio Technica ATM 410 uh, for my voiceover. So I mean, now you're listening to the phone, so it doesn't really make a difference. But this whole video was recorded with this microphone. If you like making food videos, let me know in the comments and I'll be there answering them. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more behind the scenes and filmmaking tips, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about how to shoot food videos or have a food video you want to share, let me know in the comments. I'll be there answering and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.